So I wanted to make a devotional about a verse in the Bible that says, um, it's from Psalms, and it's, um, hide me in the shadow of your wings. It's David praying. I found this picture of a dove on the Met website, which is a sculpture someone made of wax, I think it is. And what I want to do is I wanted to, oops, that's not what I wanted. I wanted to kind of have almost like a little porthole image where there's an animation in a circular section and there's the white in the background is unaffected, it's solid white. And I wanted to do that because in Instagram, the background is white. So it's kind of a cool effect uh, because you, you uh, it kind of changes the form factor of Instagram for a second, which is kind of neat. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a mask for this image because I wanna make sure that it stays put Okay, got a circle. I'm gonna move it. There we go. Yikes, okay. And then I can move this around to make it centered. I think it is centered. Looks pretty centered to me. Okay, um, and let's see how I'm gonna do this. Uh, what I wanna use is an effect called Colorama. The first thing I wanna do is add the text. And I'm gonna add them in four sections, like here, 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 and there, I think. Uh, so I'm gonna add individual text boxes. And I'm gonna use this, this font, uh, Gabriola, it's called. So I'm gonna say, hide me. I'm gonna make this white for the moment so that it shows up a little better. And later on, I wanna do a trick on the, on the, on the font. Hide me, and I want each, word to be on its own line kind of okay hide me okay and then I'll make another one I'll just duplicate this one and this one I'll move across I'll make this right justified and this will say in the shadow. Hide me in the shadow. Okay. Let me see. Can I move them both simultaneously? I think I can. Let's see why it wouldn't let me. Of course. Okay, so hide me in the shadow. And then there'll be two more, so I'm going to copy and paste these. And move these. Hold down shift to move them down like a box. Hide me in the shadow. This one's going to say of your your wings. Hide me in the shadow of your wings. And this will be lower right justified. How do I do that? Um, that's odd. Usually there's a thing to, let's see. Okay. That's fine. I can just, uh, there we go, that works. Not perfect, but it works well enough. Okay, so we got all of our text. It's all lined up pretty well. Yep, yep, okay. Hide me in the shadow of your wings. And we can make those uh, emerge appropriately over time. Uh, and I think I just want to have them show up and not fade in, but we may change that over time. So hide me. The next one would be in the shadow. So let's have this happen at the the one second mark. Let's have these each happen one second in. And actually we'll have the other one start at the one second mark. So we got... 
just zoom in here a little bit so I can make sure I'm doing this in a precise manner. Uh, timing is great if you get it down just right. Let's move this forward, move it back. There we go. One second, two second, three second would be the next one. That would be of your be the next one. Got it. And then the fourth second is wings. Great. So that's just going to play out. Let me just play that. That's almost too slow, actually. Um, what I can do is, I think you go like this and then scale horizontally. Um, but actually, I won't do that. I'll, I'll just use half seconds. So this is going to be 24 frames, so 12 frames. And this will be at the one frame mark. The one one second mark rather. Good. This will be at one and twelve. Okay. And this will be at two. So in two seconds everything gets resolved. That's kind of nice. Okay. So I just play this and it says Hide me in the shadow of your wings. Hide me in the shadow of your wings. Okay. Cool. Now, that's fine. And I think I want it to loop, so at the end I'll just have all the text disappear. Maybe a second before the end. Ah, it doesn't have to loop. Let's just bring it to the end. That's fine. Okay, cool. Now, what I want to do is make this a pre-comp and then use it as kind of a... This is acting a little odd here. need to bring this a little down. Great. Okay. I want this to be a pre-composition so that I can add this a little differently because what I'm going to want to do is put a colorama effect on this. And in certain color choices, so Colorama lets you input all the colors from set from a picture, and output it to a different set of colors. And you can actually you can actually edit the phase shift of it, which looks really psychedelic and kind of cool. And I'm a, I'm a fan of the effect. So let me stick this over here and make another uh, keyframe. I'll make this three. So then when I play this. It's great, but the only problem is that uh, the text is sometimes really hard to read because it's a font color that's, you know, the, the color gets too bright. So, and I want to edit this later, but what I first want to do is make sure that that always is visible. So what I'm going to do is make this a pre-composition. And I'm going to call it, this is called 20 shadow of wings text. Great. Now what I can do is I can add a filter to this picture. I think this will work. I can uh, set channel. Set channel, is that the right way to do this? Uh, actually, what I'd rather do is, um, so the way to do it, I guess, um, I'm kind of skipping a step here, so let me do it the right way. The right way to do it would be to pre-compose this piece here, uh, which I was trying to avoid doing, but uh, I kind of have to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this this whole project here and call this wings bird. Okay, and then. Uh, in this one, I'm going to go into this. This is the separate project. So all I need in here is the picture. I think no, no white. Okay, and then in here I can get rid of this and bring in the precomp, and 
I can interpret this with, um, let's see, because I don't want to lose the transparency. I did not lose it. That's good. Okay, great. Uh, and then I'm going to bring this in too. And now I do what I was doing earlier, where I set the channel. I, I invert one of them. And I set the channel for that one. Okay. So now that they're the same size, I can, when I set this channel, they won't, they'll fit properly. So I'll go to text and now everything is where it should be. So you can see it's exactly where the text was. Okay, great. Now I'm going to sort of hide that. And the reason you do that is now the text will always be inverted of whatever is there. So you can see the text is just an inversion of the color. So as the color changes around, the text will change to be whatever is appropriate to be visible. Okay, cool. So now I have to decide whether, let's see. Hide me in the shadow of your wings. Hide me in the shadow of your wings. Let me play this and see if I like it. Okay. I think I actually want to dissolve in the text. I don't think I like the popping in just because of the way it's so uh, dreamy looking I kind of want it to continue to be that way so let me open up the pre comp so it, so you can see what I've done here I have two separate projects that roll up into this guy um, and now what I can do is I can just sort of I could use an animation oh, I'm gonna turn this off so I can see what I'm doing I could use an animation uh, in here maybe like a wipe but I think I'll just use a simple opacity trick so let's adjust accordingly I can go here, let's see, okay, and what I can do is have it start to appear at this point. So I'll have it uh, five frames be the, the duration of the fade in, and I'll have this be zero, so it will just be like a quick little yeah, just a quick, quick, quick little uh, uh, transition. Okay, so I'm gonna go here again, and two, three, one, two, three, four, five, and set the opacity, and then go back here and set it to zero. Go here, and then go back, set this to zero. So that should make it look a little smoother. Okay. Which I think is good. Okay, now let me see what I have. Hide me in the shadow of your wings. Okay, cool. Now, I, I like the white background. I like the text. I want to add another piece of text that tells you what verse this is from. Uh, so I'm going to add that to the main thing. I'm just going to copy this, go to the main one, paste it in, and uh, move the text around. So it's going to be kind of centered. down here. I'm going to make the text white, uh, black rather, uh, so it shows up. And it's going to say, uh, okay, and we're going to center it. And it's going to be uh, Psalm 17, 17, 8, B, I guess. Oh, it's not showing up. Uh, because it's the second part of the verse. So let me turn. Okay. 
I do a lowercase b? I cannot. Ah, that's fine. Okay. Let me try to get this to show up properly. Okay, that's about right. And now I can have that show up um, a little later in the animation. And I can make that a slower kind of transition. So I can go here and make this take a lot longer to sort of fade in. And then at the end it goes, does what it does, okay. Okay, so I'm not sure that I love the uh, psychedelic -y thing. But what I'm going to first do before I change that is I'm going to try an, a, a twist on that. So this is the inverted one, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, let me rename that. And this is the basic, Joe basic one. Now you see there's no effect here because the effect is in the actual precomp. So I'm going to try messing around with some of the other stylistic options like making it look drawn. Sometimes that can look cool. So let's see about uh, stroke, I think it is. Brush strokes. Brush strokes, let's try that out and see uh, what kind of options this does for us. And I find when you're using brush strokes, it's helpful to do posterized time. And posterized time makes it look less jittery looking. kind of like that. Okay, that looks really cool. Um, and I'm going to do posterize time for this, for this guy. Set it down to like 10. Okay, let me play a few seconds of this and see what it looks like. I don't know how easily it will render, but. Okay, that's enough. From there I can play it and see. Okay, I think the art, artist artistic -y thing here is a little too much. And you kind of lose the Yeah, I think I like that better, actually. Okay, cool. Now, I think I'll leave that the way it is. Um, let me try one more. That's kind of cool, too. I want to try the cartoon. I, I like this. This is cool. Okay. So let's see what other options we have. We can reduce the steps, make it look more odd. Uh, detail, I want to make that really thin. I want the edges to be really thin. Okay. Okay, I like that. Now I want to look at the colors real quick because I'm not sure I'm not sure I'm totally in love with the colors as they are. So this is the default. Um, let me just play around with some of the other options. There's one that has like fire and smoke that's pretty cool. And then for that one you would get rid of this and you'd get rid of this to make it look more transition-y. So that one would be more like a fiery looking one. 
So, okay, I like that, but I kind of want a few other colors in there. So let me get, um, let's get some other colors in here. I want uh, maybe a pink in there. Get rid of some of the reds, some of the darker reds. That looks pretty good. And then maybe for one of the yellows, let's try to get a bright yellow. I like this dark area too, because it kind of gives a little definition there. Let's throw in another color. Let's do um, maybe a blue. That might be too much. Okay, I actually really like that. All right, I'm gonna render this and see what we have. So I finished rendering and I don't love the result entirely. I think there's some artifacts that show up because of the because of the cartoon feature. Um, like this is fine, but then all of a sudden that little splash of black dots doesn't look so great. So I think I'm better off without the cartoon feature or with adding just a ton of grain and making it look like video video y kind of. Uh, so let me try that first, and if I don't like that. We'll do the other thing. So here we go. I'm going to add lots of grain. And the goal here is to make it look kind of insanely grainy. Let me make it a uh, final output. And I'm not seeing anything actually. Okay, that looks grainy. Uh, let's make the size bigger. Ooh, that's insane looking. Holy shit. Uh, pardon my French. Um, let's make that smaller and reduce the intensity. That's kind of interesting. Uh, let's make the intensity a little less strong. And uh, a little more, maybe. No softness. Oh, what does that look like? That looks probably pretty bad, actually. I think that would not look good. Let me let the softness do its thing. And what's aspect ratio? Oh, you can make it like really like distorted. Oh, that's kind of cool looking. Let me try playing a few seconds of this and see if it's, it's horrendous or not. Um, okay. Can I make it go slower? It's very like fast looking. Oh, I can do that. Let's make it point one of whatever that was. Let's play that. Uh, animate smoothly, please. Jeez, that should be the default. Still not loving that artifact. Let me see if I can get rid of that a little bit by playing around with this. That looks interesting. I think that might make things I think that might be worse, but 
still interesting looking. So that makes it a thicker kind of line. Let me try playing this now. When you're doing something like this where it's very stylized, you have a tremendous number of options before you. Uh, you're not as held back by realism or a lot of those other kinds of concerns that would typically be a factor in a visual creation. So as long as it looks, the results look interesting and a little bit different than what you've seen before, what I've seen before, then it's it's good, kind of. Um, make this bigger and then I'm going to make the aspect ratio a little bit wider. A little bit smaller in size. Kind of like that. Let's see if it works. And now I'm feeling like the font might not be working as well as I would like. Ooh, look at this. Now that just completely washes away a lot of the detailing of this picture, which I don't think I like, actually. Unless I can fade in with... Oh, look at this. Let's remove any kind of smoothness to the shading. A little bit. Add a little bit of smoothness there. A few more steps. All right, let's try that and see what we have. Okay, I think that doesn't look as good, actually. Let's reduce this down. Oh, look at this. I think part of it being so harsh looking is the possibly the inputs the output cycle. Maybe maybe this needs to be
All right, I think I think I'll keep the grain, but I'll lose the cartoon effect. The grain kind of looks interesting. It makes it look like video or something. Yeah. Okay, let me try rendering this. I think this will be what we use. All right, here's the finished result. Um, I think it looks pretty good. I think I'm ready to share. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe, like, comment. Uh, definitely, if you have any thoughts about how I did this, have any, any other ideas about other things I can do, would love to hear your thoughts. And uh, thanks so much for watching.